If you're struggling to connect WhatsApp to NNN, you find the right video. If you're new to this channel, my name is Sean Smith, and I've used NNN to build AI agents for clients. I've been working tirelessly through YouTube, trying to find the best video and the smoothest video to connect WhatsApp to NNN, and didn't really get clarity on some of them. So I've made this video to make a simple process of how to connect WhatsApp to NNN that you can use on your phone or for your service business. Let's get into it. So the first thing you do is add first step, then search WhatsApp, then click on WhatsApp, and then go down to on messages. Then we'll need to set up a credential. So click on the down bar and hit create new credential. And you need to get a clan ID and a clan secret. So to get this, you'll need to go to business meta suite. If you haven't set that up, make sure you set that up because you'll need it for this. So once you've set that up, go to settings, then go to apps, then go to add, and then you'll need to create a new app ID. Then you need to create an app name, so just go with something like NNN AI agent. And then make sure that your contact email is correct and then hit next. Then scroll down and go to other and then hit next. Then click on business. Again, hit next. And then make sure all your uh, information is correct. So AI agent, accept the at hotmail.com and accept the as the business portfolio. Uh, make sure your password is correct and then hit submit and then hit setup on WhatsApp. And then go to app settings and then go to basic. And then copy the app ID and add it into the client ID. And then you need to get the secret ID and then copy it into the client secret section and then hit save and you'll have a successful credential created. So the next step we need to do is add the AI agent. So you go to advanced AI, go to AI agent and connect that to the WhatsApp trigger. Um, the importance of the AI agent is it connects everything together. So you'll need to add a chat model and go to open AI chat model and then you need to add a credential so to do this you'll need to have a OpenAI API key so if you haven't got that I'll show you how so go to OpenAI and log in and then go to API platform and then you get your AI API key on your dashboard so the dashboard API keys and then create new secret key then click create secret key and then copy the API key go back to any then and paste it into the API key and then click save and then you have a credential successfully created and then you need to add your memory so again click on that to add the node click on simple memory Then you need to add your response through your WhatsApp trigger. So go to WhatsApp Business Cloud. Go to Send Message. Then you need to create a new credential for the WhatsApp Business Cloud. So create a new credential. And you'll need an access token and a business account ID. So to get that, you need to go back into the Business Meta Suite. Go to API Setup. And then add in your contact number. Once you've added in your contact number, go to generate access token. Opt in to all current and future, uh, future WhatsApp accounts. Uh, so let me open this up a bit more and then hit save and then got it. So then copy the access token, paste it into your access token on NNN. Then you get the business account ID. So you just copy this ID below and then paste it back into NNN and then click save and you'll see successfully created and then you just add in the test number in the sender phone number at section put in your num number and then in the text body click sent and if you have any trouble getting your number you can always just go to the phone ID and just paste it into the expressions section if you can't get that test number 
Um, I've seen a few issues with people trying to do this before. So, so let's do a test here now to see if we got it working. So I'm going to type in hi. I know that didn't work because there's an error in the sub mode. So go into the AI agent and hit define below. And you want to drag the body from the input into the prompt user message section. And then you need to go to the simple memory node. So go down and click on that. And you'll need to do define below again. At this time, drag the WAID, which is your contact number. And change the contact window length to 10. Then go into the WhatsApp business cloud. And then again, create a new credential. Now, for some reason, I've had problems with this, so you're best doing this again if it doesn't work. So just generate your access token again and hit reconnect. And then copy the new access token into and it end again. For some reason it just comes up as an error for me so I don't know if anyone else has these issues but just copy and paste both back in again if you're having the same issues as me and then just test and test it again first you want to add your assistant uh, your assistant message for it will just be a quick example just your customer service for a shopping center and let's run it And then take out the text body and add in the output from the AI agent, which is, hello, how can I have a day? And um, let's go back into and then test it. And then click test workflow. And then we'll go into WhatsApp and we'll test it here. should work yes hello how can I assist you today so let's test the workflow and show the process of how it works so let's ask it a question can you um, recommend good clothes shops and there you go the AI agent is looking through the uh, open AI chat model and it connects to the whatsapp business cloud and it gives us an answer that's Look a little bit closer here. Sure, here are some popular clothes stores you might find at a shopping center, such as H&M, Zara, Gap. So it gives you a good answer. And the last thing I would do is add the Think tool. Now this is a new tool that NNIT brought out, and it's not on any latest videos that I've seen when you're building the WhatsApp chat model. So add this in. What the Think tool does is it basically thinks for agent it makes sure that all the workflow is automated and the correct information passes through um, this is a really good tool when, especially when you're building your AI agent so there you have it that's how you connect WhatsApp to NNN NNN is one of the most powerful tools that you can use and it is probably one of the best ways to build AI agents which you can sell to clients and start making money which is why we're all here if you haven't already I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe this is my first tutorial using NNN and I'm going to be making more in the future and if you have any comments or queries please drop them below I'll see you in the next video I've also built the ultimate AI schedule agent if you want to work together book a call in the comedy link below